Hello bros, Dragonite strikes again. Someone requested that I play Dragonite and here it is. I hope you enjoy it and learn something. So this game is one of the relatable experience playing solo queue is that even you're a jungler, there is someone who will steal your jungle. So like this where Absol stealing my jungle, I don't know why but I'm already the jungler here so if you encounter this kind of people, just give them the jungle just play the other lane so here in order for you to have a better chance securing in the lane is use the twister plus dragon breath first the twister and dragon breath because there is no delay in their action if you're throwing the twister the next is the dragon breath the more you throw twister and dragon breath the more secure you will gain in the lane just like that bros so here i'm just farming my level 5 and watch out how, how i secure this just twister and dragon breath and as you've noticed every boosted attack the twister and dragon breath cooldown lowers it so first of all my item build is the muscle band because dragon knight relies on the basic attack which is really really good and my next is the razor claw so that i can prop my dragon dance razor claw always so here we're just pushing here because we have the upper advantage le level to the other enemy so it's my right to push here because the jungler is at the top also so we're pushing here and i score 30 which is very very good and try to take all their farms in their area just like this you need to be more aggressive if you have the upper hand in the every lane and as you've noticed that i'm closing to my power spike which is still level 8 which is pretty pretty good for me and i did not take this last hit using my dragon bet which is makes it serialized level 5 which is um his power spike and i don't know why the enemy is pushing here they thought that they could win us but our slobo died but still it's a great exchange because the carry died in their lane and and i'm alive for more xp so at eight minutes i rotated the middle lane and just playing my best even i'm not a jungler i did not creep because it's just a game i just want to have fun playing this game so no hard feelings so you, i'm using outrage here dragon dance plus outrage is really really good because it gives a lot, a lot of attack speed and the recommended item build for dragonite is the full heal because you will be prone to cc a lot so this fight will show how dragonite is really strong with using the outrage dragonite so here i'm just pushing killing this guy and i go to hoopa finding him and luckily i escape using my dragon dance that's why i love dragon dance because it has a lot of mobility compared to the other one because i really love how mobility works in every game because i can reposition myself i can engage and i can go kill anyone if i have to so here i just waiting for the serialage to push and he did what i planned so here he pushed that's why he died and also remember bros that you can use your dragon dance and use the long range type just to bait them so if they come closer to you you can use the outreach so you if you are facing against melee you can use that type but if i'm facing against a range type i usually use the outrage and kill them so here as you've noticed the top lane got lost in the regilecki fight so i'm still aware of my team at the top so i keep focusing here even we have fighting i have my eyes on the top also so i don't know why they did not death that properly but i'm aware of that so i'm using my unite move in the top lane to help my team uh, but unluckily i did not reach the fight they score a lot but i kill them all which is also a good experience for me so that's why you need to be aware of your enemy team and your ally position what's happening in the map so map awareness is very crucial you need to master that a lot it's a basic type of every moba game you need to have a map awareness so here we have score and we broke the gold so have you seen in the map the bottom lane is very crowded and they're scoring a lot so we need to defend that thing because we don't want the enemy to stack very very much in the game so we need to kill them and here 
our Slowbro unites the Lepion, which is a very good catch, and we kill them all. And this is the perfect time to push this score goal and broke the goal. And our top top is gone, which is very exposed to Regilaki, which is the enemy will gain advantage in Rayquaza fight. Because once the top lane get really exposed, they can just push the Regilaki and score. And here, I'm just waiting for them to push, just like I've told you. So it's the perfect time to use Outrage now to kill them all. So that's what the fun part of using the Outrage. It's very basic and just a simple concept. It's a brain dead Outrage. Just use your basic attack and kill them all. So also, it's very important. You use weakness policy because you rely on your basic attack and you can just easily get the four stack of it which is a beneficial for you so so here the enemy get the regilaki so we should really defend this thing if it go inside it's really hard to come back because they will score a lot and i can't just defend the bottom lane because if i go there my enemy will get lost in the team fight so here i'm luckily i saw the attacker here which is a very good one outrage there look at the damage of just using one outrage they can completely erase and delete them so here i'm trying to reach my level 15 just farming so it's very important to far efficiently and fast because once you gain level 15, you have the upper advantage in every team fight. You have the maximum stats that you need to. And once you have the maximum stats, you have the upper hand to win the game. And here, I don't know why my... Uh, I mean my ally pushing here because they really need XP. And they can push literally at 3 minute mark. Because we have no goals, which is very perfect time to just farm and we have a lot of farms in our area so here i'm level 15 just like that you don't need to really push that bros because you have lower xp and the enemy team has the advantage of you that's why i'm just farming here and waiting and luckily i got my level 15 so here i'm watching my slow bro to refill his unite move so that's why i'm protecting that guy so if they, the enemy will engage at him, I will help. So here I'm patiently waiting for it to respawn. Because once we get that, we have an XP and yeah, a shield. Which is very good at late game requires a fight. So here, the, I think the attacker will go here. Yeah, that is a very, very bad move. You should, that, you should give that to us, but... I don't know why he got jump. So here I use my unite move to engage. And this is what the beautiful part of full heal. You can counter Serialize unite move. And I'm just using my outrage dragon dance. So even I'm killing the defender here, I'm aware of Lifion scoring at the bottom lane. So even we're pushing Rikwaza, I'm aware that he will go here, which is he's the really one we need to kill because he's the biggest one secure at the game. So that's why I'm killing him and luckily he used his unite move and he kills me instead. I think he's he mistaken it. So here we just won the game just like that. So even the your team steal your jungle, just give it to them. Like it's just a game, we need to have fun in this game. You don't need to stress yourself. So here I think I I did not get the quadra here. But as you can see, it's just easy to play um, Outrage Dragonite. You just position yourself in every team fight and make sure you prioritize the damage dealer in the game or the attacker. Which is very easy because you can just go in using Dragon Dance and Outrage just like that. Always prioritize the damage dealer, just the rule of thumb of this game. And also you need to better position. So if you're playing an all-rounder like this, you can go inside or wait for your defender to initiate the fight. Um, depending on the situation, but sometimes I go inside if I can handle this. 
So here I just farming my damage here, nothing else. As you can see, I have no have no deaths here, but this is the time will I die. I'm just farming my damage, but it is okay. So it's very, very, very good game using the Dragonite. So here, bros, thank you for watching. I hope this guide will help you to become a. Uh, to become a more strategic at gaming so thank you so much bros uh, like and subscribe for more and hoping we'll reach 20 likes again so as you can see i have 153k damage which is pretty pretty huge a uh, good carry dragonite game and thank you bros and stay hydrated as always